Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar titled Uncover All Hallmarks of Cancer with Multiplex Gene and Protein Assays Using Luminex Technology. This webinar is a part of the Cancer Research and Oncology 2021 virtual event. I am Antonina Salcido of LabRoots, and I will be your moderator for today's event. Today's educational web seminar is presented by LabRoots and sponsored by Luminex. For more information about Luminex, please go to luminexcorp.com. Now let's get started. Before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone that this event is interactive. We encourage you to first participate by communicating with other attendees using our new live chat feature during the presentation. You can find the live chat located at the right of your screen. You can also participate by submitting as many questions as you would like during the presentation. To do so, simply type them into the Ask a Question box and click Send. We'll answer as many questions as we have time for at the end of the presentation. If you have trouble seeing or hearing the presentation, click on the Help Desk button located at the bottom of your screen within the navigation bar or from the lobby. Finally, as a reminder, this presentation is educational and offers free continuing education credits. Click on the Continuing Education Credits link located in the abstract window below the presentation window and follow the process to obtain your credits. I now present today's speaker, Dr. Seagrin Bodrana, Manager in Product Development at the Thermo Fisher Scientific Center of Excellence for Immunoassays in Vienna, Austria. For a complete biography on our speaker, please visit the biography tab at the left of your screen. Dr. Bodrana, welcome. You may now begin your presentation. Hi everyone, and welcome to this presentation on multiplex gene and protein assays using the Luminex technology to uncover all hallmarks of cancer. As you know, cancer research is one of the most dynamic fields with various focus areas that undergo rapid development, also driven by new technologies, while there's still demand for reliable tools for comprehensive analysis. To accelerate progress and further support cancer biomarker discovery and verification across key cancer research areas, Thermo Fisher Scientific is the only company to offer highly multiplexed assays for both gene and protein expression on the Luminex system, providing a flexible and quantitative solution for research purposes that is now also available in a 384 well plate format for even higher throughput demand. So actually, there are two applications on one instrument platform that make use of the XMAP multi-analyte profiling technology and are compatible with any of the Luminex instruments. While on the one hand, in vitro chain quantigenplex assays with incorporated branched DNA technology allow for accurate gene expression analysis of up to 80 targets per well, directly from a lysed blood or tissue homogenate sample without the need for RNA purification. Procartoplex immunoassays, on the other hand, enable scalable and reproducible protein quantitation with the simultaneous detection of actually up to 65 targets in a single sample of plasma, serum and other bodily fluids requiring only a sample volume of 25 out of 50 microliter in the 96 well plate and even less in the 384 well plate format, which is now also provided particularly for the Procartoplex platform as unique ready to use solution with lyophilized pre-dispensed capture beads on 384 well flat bottom plates, which makes the workflow even more efficient and convenient. Of note, uh, these multiplex assays can also be easily customized by either selecting any RNA transcript for the quantigenplex or by choosing from our broad list of protein targets for human, mouse and other species covering cytokines, chemokines, uh, growth factors, but also other biomarkers relevant for cancer research and for many other areas of biology and interest. For cancer research on the QuantiGene platform, a 50-plex panel is readily available, enabling the simultaneous detection of relevant targets, including immune checkpoint modulators and immune cell markers, besides selected controls, as shown here, to study cancer-related immune responses on a transcriptional level and help better understand also the molecular basis. 
As highly customizable platform, additional targets of interest can be easily integrated and custom research panels can be designed, allowing the relative gene expression data to, to be obtained for selected targets from the same sample. To enhance our data analysis for QuantiGene Plex, uh, two software options are freely available through Connect, the term official scientific cloud-based platform providing streamlined uh, data analysis with an improved and easy to follow workflow and also the possibility for advanced uh, data visualization. As shown here as an example of a publication in the Journal of Immunotherapy of Cancer, where QuantiGene Plex custom research panel was used for gene expression profile analysis in the preclinical discovery and development of a novel human monoclonal antibody that binds to the checkpoint ligand PDL1. To evaluate the effects of this antibody, high content molecular analysis were performed on cell lysis from mixed leukocyte reactions as depicted by the volcano plot in the upper left, as well as on tumor tissues collected from several uh, xenograft mouse tumor models as illustrated by the plot on the upper right. Analysis of, in both models um, revealed a prominent and enhanced T-cell response upon addition of this blocking antibody consistent with interferon gamma pathway and T-cell activation. Furthermore, when uh, comparing single agent treatment versus the combination of uh, PDL1 and CTLA4 antibody treatment, as shown in the Venn diagram below, some overlap but also unique patterns were observed with gene expression changes indicative of immune activation for single anti PDL1 treatment, enhanced T cell activation in response to single anti CTLA4 treatment and a further upregulated TH1 type response upon combination. So overall, this highlights how QuantiGenePlex assays can effectively support evaluation of potential novel immunotherapies, demonstrating the ability of this antibody to effectively block uh, the PDL1, PD1 axis to drive more effective anti-tumor T cell immunity. We furthermore continued to expand our portfolio of multiplex procartoplex panels for protein expression studies in the cancer research field to offer the most flexible solution and the comprehensive uh, collection of markers that ultimately enables uh, the systematic analysis of uh, relevant targets addressing all hallmarks of cancer as shown here and as originally summarized in previous publications by Hanahan and Weinberg. In addition to readily available multiplex procartoplex assays for protein targets implicated in cancer hallmarks, evading growth suppressors, inducing angiogenesis, resisting cell death and evading immune destruction and tumor promoting inflammation, we put a particular emphasis on covering now also the hallmarks of sustained cell prolifer proliferative signaling and invasion and metastasis by providing more than 30 new targets to researchers supporting in-depth studies of these aspects as well, which are um, among the fundamental features of uh, cancer cells, enabling invasive growth uh, capabilities and driving uh, tumor progression. In previous years, a main focus was on uh, soluble immune checkpoint regulators uh, by providing in total three immune oncology checkpoint marker procartoplex panels that were the first of their kind in the marketplace at that time and that are now combined in one immune checkpoint 37 plex procartoplex panel covering all relevant soluble checkpoint molecules for immuno oncology research. Among the key cancer research areas, immuno-oncology has rapidly evolved as a field that provides several promising strategies on targeted modulation of an individual's immune system to combat cancer. This includes and invo uh, involves cancer vaccines uh, that stimulate immune responses based on antigens and neoantigens released by cancer cells upon cell death, CAR T cell therapy that further expands uh, the adaptive cell transfer, as well as immune checkpoint inhibition as an approach based on therapeutic antibodies that target immune checkpoint pathways as a way to attack cancer cells. 
Immune checkpoint pathways are crucial in balancing immune responses. However, uh, can also be dysregulated and used by cancer cells as a mechanism to finally evade immune surveillance. Immunotherapy is using immune checkpoint inhibitors to block the effects of um, PD-1 or CTLA-4 were among the first to market with several antibodies that have already been approved or are currently in clinical trials. So since the Nobel Prize in 2018 for the discovery of cancer therapy based on inhibition of negative immune regulation via CTLA-4 and PD-1, Investigation of uh, checkpoint pathways has progressed and continues to target immune checkpoint markers, also as uh, combination therapies, and to identify potential new uh, drug targets and predictive biomarkers that uh, potentially provide important insights uh, to further optimize also therapeutic benefits, but also to minimize uh, the risk of uh, possible side effects of uh, immunotherapies. So actually, the Immune Checkpoint 37 Aplex Pro Cartoplex panel is a powerful tool to help further investigate immune checkpoint pathway functionality in effector T cells and natural killer cells, which are involved in the regulation of both uh, adaptive and innate immunity, as it includes uh, the most important uh, co-stimulatory and co-inhibitory molecules, which are often engaged by cancer cells to alter activation pathways and that are particularly involved in uh, steps three and seven, T cell activation and killing of cancer cells of the cancer immunity cycle, as schematically shown in the figure on the left uh, that uh, you are probably familiar with, uh, summarizing in a seven step process how the immune system combats uh, cancer. Each of these seven steps is uh, tightly regulated and involves not only checkpoint molecules, but also pro- and anti-inflammatory cytokines, which are involved in the regulation of step two, as well as chemokines and adhesion molecules, which regulate uh, steps four and five, uh, T-cell trafficking and infiltration, uh, which we all cover in our portfolio of Procartoplex multiplex assays. So in addition to the adaptive T-cell mediated immunity, similar regulatory processes and checkpoints can also be found during innate immune cell activation. And as pointed out in the figure on the right, a lot of uh, receptor ligand interactions of natural killer cells are also to be explored as uh, potential therapeutic targets that might mediate anti-cancer immune responses. So in general, for the majority of immune checkpoint molecules, also soluble isoforms or shed variants have been described that can act as decoy receptors or immune adjuvants uh, in the regulation of checkpoint pathways and which might also impact uh, the efficacy of individual checkpoint modulator drugs. Therefore, uh, immune oncology checkpoint biomarker procartoplex panels have been specifically designed and optimized uh, to measure key soluble analytes in human or mouse serum plasma and cell culture supernatant samples. Uh, as illustrated by the bar chart on this slide, uh, a screen uh, of more than 70 human melanoma samples finally confirmed that all these soluble forms of checkpoint molecules that are included in the Procartoplex multiplex panels are indeed detectable in serum. Further evaluation demonstrated that the expression patterns of these soluble markers are dependent on disease state and cancer treatment. As depicted by the two graphs, a uh, reduction of PD-1 levels was observed in melanoma samples when comparing early treatment to pretreatment, resulting in characteristic uh, responder profiles, which might help to pre-select and better stratify subjects who may benefit from a certain treatment. This further highlights that analyzing all these soluble checkpoint molecules might provide valuable information on early treatment uh, responses. To also support preclinical and translational research studies on the response to potential therapeutic treatment in mouse models, specific soluble receptors and ligands are combined uh, into mouse uh, immune oncology checkpoint procartoplex cell panels which have been evaluated by a collaborator in normal and tumor tissues. 
As shown here in the two bar charts, um, analysis of in total 11 analytes in tumor tissue extracts from non-treated and treated mice revealed a distinct protein profile with uh, differentially expressed proteins in the treated versus uh, the control group, uh, suggesting a role for these proteins in tumor progression. To further elucidate the interplay of tumor cells and the tumor microenvironment to better understand the complexity of cancer, exploring all facets of the immune system is key. And as outlined here on this slide, um, this network involves a multitude of cells and other soluble factors such as uh, chemokines and cytokines besides immune checkpoint molecules that regulate and shape local and systemic immune responses which can be either cancer promoting or cancer suppressive and overall depend on the critical balance uh, between stimulatory and inhibitory mediators. Thus, uh, analysis of a broader set of uh, immunomodulatory markers is of great interest uh, to get an even more complete picture of an individual's immune status, which might help to also gain better understanding of uh, therapeutic benefit and resistant mechanisms. The Immune Monitoring Human Procartoplex Panel, as shown here, is actually the largest available panel on this multiplex platform, enabling efficient analysis of immune response profiles by simultaneous measurement of uh, 65 cytokine, chemokine and growth factor targets in a single well. It is uh, furthermore complemented also by an intuitive uh, cloud-based software solution with the new Procartoplex analysis app uh, that features 4PL and 5PL curfit optimization and enables um, graphical data analysis, including um, group-wise statistical and heat map analysis uh, and the possibility um, for uh, publication quality export of uh, data. In a recent publication, as cited here, an uh, immune oncology checkpoint human procartoplex panel and the cytokine, chemokine and growth factor 45 plex human procartoplex panel were used uh, to uh, determine baseline levels of in total 59 chemokines, cytokines and soluble immune checkpoint molecules in plasma samples of a discovery cohort before treatment with a PD-1 inhibitor to evaluate response to immunotherapy. And based on a calculated signature score as displayed by the heat map, a correlation between the distribution pattern of these soluble factors and the potential therapeutic benefit was retrospectively explored in different subgroups. As shown in the scatter plots below, uh, distinct patterns could be identified for three targets. While a decreasing trend of therapeutic response was observed for IL-10 across the subgroups, significantly increased pretreatment levels were identified for CCL5 or RANTES and PDL1, and their relevance as biomarkers for efficient immunotherapy further confirmed in a validation cohort, as uh, shown by the scatter plots below. So, high expression of these two proteins as so-called two cytokine signature was found to be associated with increased disease control rate and survival, underscoring the predictive value of these targets uh, for the stratification of individuals who may benefit from a certain treatment. So, this is an example where uh, two pre-configured uh, Brocartoplex multiplex panels, one for human immunomonitoring and one immuno-oncology checkpoint biomarker panel, were efficiently combined to support cancer research. As previously mentioned, a more recent focus was set on uh, the cancer hallmark sustained proliferative signaling now offering a procartoplex multiplex panel with uh, eight uh, target proteins that are implicated in the regulation of cell proliferation and growth. Uh, and favoring cell growth and survival with uh, uncontrolled and continuous proliferation finally paves the way for another hallmark of cancer, which is invasion and metastasis uh, with two additional multiplex panels, uh, including in total 25 uh, proteins that are associated with uh, uh, cancer progression and uh, metastatic spread. 
When looking at the carcinoembryonic antigen as one of uh, the key targets, benchmark testing of uh, the Procartoplex research assay to a commonly used IVD ELISA of another supplier using 32 tumor and control samples uh, demonstrates a good correlation as depicted in the plot on the left uh, with detectable levels and elevated uh, signals for confirmed CEA positive samples compared to controls as shown in the graph uh, on the right. Besides the carcinoembryonic antigen, the performance of Procartoplex research assays uh, for two further cancer antigens, uh, as shown here, was evaluated uh, in tumor versus control samples in comparison to established assays uh, that are routinely used to detect these tumor markers um, to monitor cancer progression, but also the effectiveness of uh, cancer treatment. Benchmark testing of uh, the Procartoplex assays uh, showed for both uh, cancer antigens a uh, good correlation to uh, this uh, IVD uh, ELISAs as depicted in the plots on the right, underscoring the excellent performance of uh, the Procartoplex assays for uh, both uh, cancer antigens. Another important feature of cancer is resistance to cell death uh, that is often associated also with the defective removal of apoptotic cells and debris. So while the apoptotic cell clearance uh, procartoplex panel includes uh, 12 relevant proteins that are involved in the process of efferocytosis, the cell death procartoplex multiplex panel now uh, combines further relevant protein markers that are released into the microenvironment upon cell stress, such as uh, danger-associated molecular patterns uh, 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 or in response to anti-cancer therapy-induced uh, cell death, uh, such as HMGB1. And when analyzing human breast cancer samples before and after chemotherapy using uh, human multiplex procartoplex panels, as demonstrated by the box plots of a previous publication, the levels of soluble checkpoint markers CD27, CD80, and PDL2 correlated with HMGB1 levels and were increased in human samples with a better response uh, to new adjuvant chemotherapy and a better five year survival. These findings suggest that the immune status differs between individuals with increased HMGB1 levels in response to chemotherapy as compared to those individuals without increase and further underscores the value and relevance of detecting these markers to better develop and design treatment strategies. Addressing the cancer hallmark uh, evading growth uh, suppressors and for studying uh, this particular aspect, the growth factor human 11plex procartoplex panel is readily available and has been used as referenced here in a study um, to analyze um, angiogenic growth factors in supernatants of micro tissues, which revealed a differential secretion profile, uh, particularly for VGFA, FGF2, and PDGFBB in distinct cancer co culture models that were finally selected to develop a 3D model to study tumors and to provide. Um, uh, model and uh, uh, for functional screening of anti-angiogenic uh, drugs. For in-depth uh, studies of angiogenesis, uh, which is a prerequisite for cancer progression, two additional angiogenesis human procartoplex multiplex panels are pro available now to provide um, uh, additional uh, relevant targets uh, that can be simultaneously detected to further explore this aspect. And in a recent study as cited here, the angiogenesis human uh, procartoplex 18 plex panel uh, was performed on supernatant fluid to determine changes in the protein profile of extracellular vesicles released from uh, Leishmania infected cells versus extracellular vesicles uh, from uh, control cells. To obtain a final insights into possible functions of host cell proteins that are preferentially released into extracellular vesicles from Leishmania infected cells. 
And that's depicted by the bar charts. So significantly increased levels were found uh, for particular mediators uh, such as IL-8 and uh, pro-angiogenic uh, factors, including PDGF, uh, uh, BB, uh, GCSF, uh, or also amprene in extracellular vesicles from infected cells that have been shown to promote angiogenesis and alter tissue vascularization in a way that favors uh, lesion development. This uh, brings me directly uh, to the role of exosomes, uh, which are uh, the smallest extracellular vesicles that originate from multivesicular compartments of the endocytic pathway. And um, there is growing interest uh, in the role of exosomes as key mediators of cell-to-cell -cell communication, particularly in the context of cancer, which has accelerated uh, considerably within recent years. Exosomes um, that can derive also from a tumor uh, cell or a tumor uh, microenvironment and their cargo um, are increasingly acknowledged as valuable source of biomarkers associated with essentially all of the described hallmarks of cancer that might be indicative of a disease state or processes such as metastatic spread. And uh, besides uh, their role as a potential predictive marker might serve also as uh, potential therapeutic targets or vehicles for anti-cancer drugs. As there is not a single exosome specific marker, the exosome characterization human procataplex panel has been designed including six selected target proteins as listed in the table on the left, uh, covering all relevant categories of proteins to demonstrate the nature and purity of uh, exosome preparations in line with the recommendations of the International Society for S Extracellular Vesicles as summarized on the right. These include typical tetraspanins uh, such as CD81, CD63 and CD9, an integrin as additional transmembrane protein, synthenin 1 representative for cytosolic proteins recovered in uh, exosomes, as well as cytochrome C as a control for proteins associated with other intracellular compartments. In addition, the apolipoprotein human uh, procataplex multiplex uh, panel is readily available to also control for non-vesicular structures that are commonly co-isolated with extracellular vesicles, including APOA or APOB as outlined uh, on the right. So as shown in the graphs on this slide, uh, when evaluating the performance uh, with uh, serial dilutions of large exosomes isolated either from serum as indicated in red or from conditioned media of a human melanoma cell line as indicated in black, uh, um, it was demonstrated um, detectable levels and a good linearity for each of the targets except for cytochrome C that uh, serves as uh, control for proteins uh, associated with other cellular compartments as mentioned and is indicative of the purity of exosome uh, preparations. So as expected, uh, signals were below the detection range uh, for purified exosomes uh, while a whole cell lysate here indicated in orange served as positive control and uh, revealed uh, high detectable levels uh, instead. Besides these targets for exosome characterization, um, a number of uh, cancer biomarkers have also been identified as exosome derived uh, being present on the surface or within exosomes uh, in addition to the secreted soluble forms. Uh, and uh, uh, one of these targets is uh, carcinoembryonic antigen, which, which has been um, verified for this uh, particular sample matrix uh, using the procataplex assay uh, by titrating exosomes isolated from conditioned media of a CEA positive colorectal cancer cell line, as depicted in the two plots on the right showing a detectable levels and uh, uh, excellent linearity with an R-square of 
Apart from um, the carcinoembryonic antigens, many of uh, the cancer research targets available on the multiplex procartoplex uh, panels as presented have been identified as exosomal cargo, um, as outlined in the table, showing just a representative list of relevant targets. And uh, in addition to pre-configured panels, um, our mix and match offering provides the highest flexibility of customized combinations also of these available targets and uh, relevant cancer research targets to design a unique panel uh, with your own analyte composition appropriate to respective uh, research needs. Um, so this uh, allows uh, to exploit cancer-derived exosomes and their unique uh, molecular composition and protein composition in order to obtain an even more complete profile of uh, cancer immunity. So to conclude our portfolio of XMAP technology-based in vitro gen multiplex assays, provides a unique solution for biomarker profiling in cancer research by introducing new protein assays um, on the Procartoplex platform for markers particularly involved in metastasis, cell proliferation, cell death, and the characterization of exosomes that can also be combined with markers involved in immuno-oncology, angiogenesis, and apoptosis. So I hope I have given you some important insights into these powerful tools for comprehensive analysis of gene and protein markers to advance your cancer research. Thank you for your interest in this uh, presentation. Thank you, Dr. Madrina, for your important, informative presentation. We will now start the Q&A portion of the webinar. If you have a question you'd like to ask, please do so now. Just click on the Ask a Question box located on the far left of your screen. Now let's get started. Our first question is, can I stay with my established exosome isolation method when using the exosome characterization panel or other PPX assays for exosomal protein cargo analysis? Well, yes, yes, of course, uh, established and, and commonly used exosome isolation protocols and procedures such as uh, ultracentrifugation, size exclusion, chromatography or filtration methods can be used for for preparing exosome samples uh, that are to be subjected uh, for analysis on these multiplex assays. And um, we also offer a range of tools and uh, products for isolation of exosomes and uh, their RNA and protein content, such as uh, precipitation reagents uh, that are available for serum, plasma, cell culture, media, and others, uh, or the, the total exosome RNA and protein isolation kits to to recover exosomal protein cargo also for further downstream analysis that have also been used um, for exosome sample preparations in the evaluation of, of these um, multiplex uh, assays and um, have been included as a recommendation also in the, in the user guide that comes uh, with this Procartoplex multiplex panel. Thank you for that. Um, our next question, um, you mentioned a unique ready-to-use 384 well format for PPX assays. Is this available for any panel? Um, so, well, this, uh, in addition, in addition to uh, the liquid formulation of, uh, of pre-mixed uh, bead sets that are commonly provided in a single well, this is, this is really an exclusive uh, format uh, for the Bocataplex assay uh, with uh, pre-dispensed lyophilized beads in the 384 well plate. Uh, which um, uh, eliminates also the, the bead dispensation step in the in the assay workflow and um, at the same time of course minimizes bead dispensation errors uh, and means less hands-on time and less time to result and this is actually provided um, especially for our largest panels on this multiplex platform uh, which is the immune monitoring um, human 65 plex procartoplex panel the cytokine chemokine and growth factor 45 plex human procartoplex panel as well as the the human uh, monitoring mouse of 48 plex uh, procartoplex panels 
but uh, we provide custom services for immunoassays in general if there are any special requests or requirements in this regard. Well, thank you for that. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> um, I, another question we have coming in, um, can immuno-oncology checkpoint multiplex assays be combined with certain cytokine targets? So yes, indeed. Uh, so besides combining um, two uh, pre-configured panels, as shown in the presentation, where an immuno-oncology checkpoint multiplex panel and the cytokine, chemokine, and growth factor 45 plex panel were used to, to cover all relevant targets of interest, um, our mix and match uh, panels um, can can be easily designed uh, with uh, with the choice uh, of of targets uh, using our panel configurator and uh, selection tool on our website, uh, providing high flexibility and highest flexibility to, to design uh, a panel of choice um, also for uh, desired species, uh, different sample types, so really appropriate uh, to the research need. Perfect, thank you again. And as a reminder for the audience, if you have any questions, please go ahead and submit them now. Um, we have good, great questions coming in. Um, another one, can I also look at gene expression using Luminex technology? If so, how many targets can I analyze in one well? Right, so there are two, as mentioned, two different applications uh, provided um, that make use of the Luminex technology for protein, but also for, for gene expression studies. And the quantity plex assays in particular allow to easily measure RNA um, with up to 80 genes of interest, including housekeeping genes that um, can be selected from, from really a large uh, inventory of more than 20,000 uh, genes and are available also in 96 or a 384 well uh, format uh, providing highest sample throughput and if there is a particular gene of interest um, as mentioned as highly customizable platform also custom research panels can be usually provided um, in in a couple of weeks so within three three weeks thank you yeah. another question we have which luminex instrument do i need for these panels and where can i get them So um, we, you can use uh, the all kinds of uh, Luminex instruments. Um, so um, the, the latest uh, IntelliFlex instrument is uh, the most advanced one. Um, but uh, depending on uh, on uh, yeah the, the the need and uh, the lab space, um, uh, different instruments uh, fit uh, for um, for different uh, applications and and needs. Uh, but uh, Luminex instruments uh, are provided also um by us so yeah great thank you we have time for just a couple more questions um i someone is saying i'm interested in a particular protein target but no ppx assay is available are there further assays to come so um yeah in general, we continuously expand our portfolio of uh, available targets for, for our multiplex assays, but also other immunoassay platforms, um, and offer a collection of markers that um, include well-established but also novel emerging targets of interest uh, in various areas that is not limited uh, to cancer research. If there is still a target of interest which uh, which can't be found in our portfolio, um, we offer also custom assay uh, development uh, service for unique uh, targets on all available immunoassay platforms. So um, in this case, um, uh, you're welcome to contact us for a free consultation. Great, thank you. It looks like we have time for about one more question. Um, do you have data analysis tools? Yes, indeed. So uh, 
tools uh, for improved data analysis is, are available for, for both multiplex asset platforms um, via the connector, so cloud-based platform of uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific. Uh, for quantity implex assays, um, the quantity implex analysis software is available and data can also be exported into the transcriptome analysis console that allows for more advanced analysis, also graphical data output. And for a protein expression assay, uh, Procartaplex platform, also an analysis app uh, is uh, now available that um, improves um, uh, the data analysis workflow and also um, offers ad advanced options, uh, heat map, uh, group-wise statistical analysis. Great. Thank you again, Dr. Badrina, for your time today and your important research. Before we go, I'd like to thank the audience for joining us today and for their interesting questions. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, Luminex, for sponsoring today's webinar. Questions we do not have time for today or those submitted during the on-demand period will be addressed by the speaker via the contact, contact information you have provided at the time of registration. This webcast can be viewed on-demand for two years till October of 2023. Lab Roots will alert you via email when it's available for replay. We encourage you to share that email with any colleagues who may have missed today's live event. Until next time, thank you, goodbye.